Welcome back to Your Travel with Olivia. Thank you so much for joining me here again today. I know it's been a while. I have no excuses. Um, time just gets away from you and there's just been so much going on. Yes, it's been a year. Yes, we are still in this conundrum as to travel. Should we or shouldn't we? Vaccinations are being rolled out and this is great. It seems like it's going to be the answer, but then we keep getting these variants. And the key thing now that has sort of spurred me to actually make this video is the um, contradiction that the government is giving us in terms of messages. And that's because right now, as I speak on the news, there is a new, more powerful, stronger, much more contagious variant that is going on in India. Their numbers are just out of control right now. But, but, and I say this with the utmost empathy, um, but at the end of the day, our prime minister here is saying that, you know, he is really concerned about our safety. And I say, if you're that concerned about the safety, then shut down the airport um, because we need to contain this and we need to get a hold of it and whatever that takes. Maybe we need to pump more vaccines over in India. The country of 1.3 billion began its COVID-19 immunization drive in mid-January. But from here on, it's an uphill task for India. Getting those vaccinations in the arms of as many people as possible, whatever it takes. But we need to shut down those airports and we need to stop the travel from outside of the countries. Any of these countries, we did it already when it was the UK that came up with the very first variant. We were very quick to say we are not accepting anybody from the, the UK. Um, and so why aren't we doing the same thing here? So that was, that's one big, huge question mark right now out there. What is the rationale behind keeping our airports open and allowing flights to come in from India as, and at the same time saying that you're here to protect us? It makes absolutely no sense. Now, another rant. <laughs> and that is right now here in Ontario, um, our numbers are also going up and up and up, which again doesn't make sense that we should have our airports open for people who are potentially bringing in more of the variants. So much so that we have a crisis in our healthcare system right now. Their hospitals are running out of beds in our ICU in particular. We have the numbers are going up, uh, those on ventilators, we're running out of ventilators. We're actually getting to the point as to we're going to have to sort of decide who gets one. And we never ever wanted to come to that, but it is looking that way. And the increased strain and stress on our healthcare system right now. But the biggest thing is, of course, the healthcare workers who are working in those areas, be it the lab techs, the doctors, the nurses. Ontario right now is crying out for help. They need more nurses. They need more specialized nurses who are, can work in the ICU, work in the emergency department. And so we are looking to the other provinces, countries, wherever we can get additional um, human resources, we're looking for that right now. But here's the caveat. Apparently there is over 20,000 nurses here in Ontario right now, licensed nurses right now, who are available to work myself included. As you know, I'm a nurse and I still hold my license. So I am one of those 20,000 and I have put in my application that I will help. And I have said, you know, if you need my help to do immunizations, to do contact tracing, anything that you need help with, please call on me. I'm here. I can help out as well. And I have not received a phone call. Um, I was on a call the other day, a webinar, and it was for our uh, nursing association. And to tell you the truth, there are other nurses out there um, that were on that call as well, and they also had the same thing. They put in their applications and they have not been called. So my thing is, is if you have a crisis, if you're reaching out to all of these other provinces, countries, to please send in nurses to help out, lab techs, doctors, whatever, why aren't we being called, right? It doesn't make any sense. There's some things just not adding up here. Um, the head of our nursing association actually went for her vaccine the other day. It was a doctor that gave her her vaccine. A doctor. And when she asked him, why are you giving me the vaccine? He said, I don't know. I've just been told that there's not enough nurses. So that's why they told me that I had to give it. So again, it's not adding up. Over 20,000 nurses here in Ontario are available, are licensed and ready to work, but they have not been called. And yet, so you're calling out. Anyways, um, 
it's it's incredible um, what's going on out there. It has left me baffled. And at the end of the day, I know this is a travel channel. You know what? If we don't travel, the economy all over the world is suffering. It's a huge, huge industry. And the domino effect of people not traveling is starting to really hurt our countries, our economy, our communities, our ma and pa shops, okay? So whatever it takes, um, let's just do this, right? If you have anything that you want to say, please put that in the comment section down below. Comment on what I've said. Comment on what you've been going through yourself. Comment on what you are feeling because that's one way that maybe we can get the message out there. Well, I appreciate your support. So many of you out there comment on my channel and comment on just um, me bringing you this um, information. And so thank you again for being here. In the meantime, I want to wish you a wonderful week and don't forget, please stay safe out there, okay? Talk to you soon. Adios.